So, hello there, my beautiful guys, gals, my other pals. I'm Danny, and today I'm a bit anxious. I don't know if you guys can tell because this is actually my entry for Jazz's competition where he's promoting a bunch of small YouTubers. And, you know, when he announced it, I thought, you know, I'm pretty small in height, yes, but also in subscribe numbers. So, well, let's give it a shot. And I was actually like thinking for a while, what the hell am I gonna do for this competition? And then I remembered. This guy, that's actually named Jaza, because when I got him a couple of years ago, I thought, you know what, for some unexplained reason, he reminds me of Jaza. So I thought, let's do something inspired by him. And, you know, a few uh, a while back on my channel, I did the one hour, ten minute, one minute challenge, uh, drawing a dragon, which might or might not also have been inspired by Jaza. So I thought I'd like, combine the two in a weird mishmash and make that challenge, drawing a koala. And yeah, that's what I'm, we're gonna be doing. So, you know, wish me luck. I mean, this is a video, so when you watch it, I'll already have done it, so. But wish me luck anyway. So let's go over there to the desk and let's do something. Let's see what happens. Okay, so if you don't know my channel, which is likely if you're watching this on Jazz's channel, hopefully, you won't know that. Usually when I'm doing a video that's not a tutorial and that's a long time lapse, I actually like to tell some stories, usually funny slash cringy ones. You know, just the story of my life. And today I'm going to tell you about the time I went to the zoo. Because koalas, I actually have never seen them in the wild, you know, <laughs> only in that zoo that I went to with my dad. So thanks dad. And it was great because I'm, th I'm not sure if my school closed for some reason, but it was a day, it was a school day and there was no one else at the zoo and we arrived there really early. And the gentleman that owned the zoo, it was actually, it wasn't a big zoo, it was a small family owned place. And that gentleman said, I'm about to go around and feed some of the animals, do you guys want to come with me and I'll give you a tour. And yeah, he gave us a free tour, and there were no tours at that place, it was just, it was a great experience because we went around and I actually fed some of the animals. Mostly the monkeys, I helped give them some fruit and they were so cute! There was one with the big ears, so fluffy, kind of like a koala, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. And it was amazing, and the reason I'm talking about the zoo today, not only because there were koalas there, but because there was another cool animal there. A cassowary! <laughs> And if you're fans of Jazza, you'd know that he's actually talked about that in the past in one of my favorite videos, a collab he did with Caitlin McKay, where he did a monster mesh. And one of the animals he was using was a cassowary, which is an Australian animal. And that zoo is one of the three zoos around in that country, I think, that have a cassowary. And the owner said that he was actually more scared at feeding that bird than any other animal in that zoo like and there were tigers there but n like yeah and i watched him feed the tiger he was like relaxed hey here tiger here you go the cassowary he was like shaking before he went in so it's like jazza said in his video you know when he went oh such a pretty bird with the blue neck i want to touch it don't bloody touch it <laughs> oh my god i can't do jazza's voice and honestly, when he said that, it reminded me of myself whenever my friends come over because they go to my desk and they say, Oh, such a cute drawing, can I touch it? Don't bloody touch it! And I don't want to seem like an asshole, it's just... I draw with colored pencils and charcoal and those things smudge a lot. So now my friends think I'm crazy because I freak out whenever they try to touch anything in my house. So I'm sorry, guys. But back to the story. Um... I did see the koalas, and honestly, I never thought they had, like, big noses, I thought they were quite cute. But Jasa says he's a, people joke he's a koala because of his nose. And I'm like, I don't have, I have a big nose, but mine's like hooked, so does that mean I'm like a bird? Like, in my language, we call it like a crow beak type of noise. Noise, nose. <laughs> I can't speak, see. And so does that mean like your nose determines your spirit animal? So like if Jazz is a koala because of that, does that mean I'm a crow? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I like that. It's like a cool emo animal, so pretty accurate. And Jazz is all cuddly, in my opinion. I think he's really cute, so a koala makes sense. So wait, do our noses determine our personalities? Like all those people with astrology saying, oh, it's the position of the star. No, no, no. It's our noses, people. Great conspiracy. <laughs> so, uh, 
after that trip to the zoo we just went around a little more and it was great because then we went to my favorite place and by that time the nice old man that was helping us and giving us a tour had gone to do other stuff and so we could spend as much time as we wanted in the birds area which is my favorite area i love birds so much i haven't drawn many birds maybe i should draw more and yeah but the thing is there were so many birds that place was loud like really loud and my dad was like hey danny let's go and see that those cute monkeys again i was like no dad i want to see all the birds then they never shut up and like i didn't care but my dad was like holding his ears and the birds were going ka ka and let's just say that today my dad has to wear hearing aids so sorry dad <laughs> and i swear he started becoming hard of hearing right around that time so maybe it was my fault so sorry and just before i go and finish up this time lapse i just wanted to talk about the drawing a little bit because you guys if you know my channel for some reason you'll know that i do lots of animal drawings but most of those take minimum three hours it really depends but i've had some take like days to make like a few hour lots of hours a day so doing this in one hour i was kind of panicked because with the dragon one if you know what i'm talking about it was just with fine liners like i sketched first and i went with the fine liner and there's only like five fine liners that i use but now i have so many colors and the pose i have to make it look realistic like it was, i was kind of stressed but i think it really turned out okay and like even though it's not one of those as professional as maybe those works that took me a lot longer I'm still actually really really proud of it because I honestly didn't think I could do it. I was like, yeah, sure. We are talking to Milky, my editor, about the idea for the video. I can draw a koala in one hour. Who can't, right? But I hope uh, you enjoyed it and liked my story. And yeah, let's finish this and go to the 10 minute one. Okay guys, now that the easy part is done, let's start turning up the difficulty and we're actually doing the 10 minute one and I was pleasantly surprised during the one hour one experience because since I was so stressed in the beginning and sped through the phase, which is usually the part that takes me longest, I mean it still took me like almost half an hour but I still ended up a lot quicker than I thought I would and I was actually able to finish 5 minutes before the one hour mark and had time the color in the sky and add some details and stuff but going into the 10 minute one i knew i was gonna have zero time and zero like room to breathe so you know this shouldn't be draw while in 10 minutes it should be hold your breath for 10 minutes and you know in the t in the dragon video i made like this i made the mistake the big mistake of sketching a lot first so with this one i just ignored the sketching i just went in straight with a pencil which you really shouldn't do because you know but placing the anatomy and stuff is kind of important but hey um i have the other one as a reference i can do this spoiler alert i kind of couldn't but hey it's still better than the one minute one which you'll see in in a minute no in 10 minutes well this is a time lapse so uh i don't know confusion <laughs> as you'll see just now how that ended up and please forgive my well i don't know how to describe my state of mind during the one minute one you'll see uh, and well let's just say some weird stuff happened okay so here we are I'm totally not scared at all, terrified. So we've gone from what looks like a koala to what looks like a koala that's just taking some kind of drugs. And now <laughs> let's see what awaits us. Forget about the tree because I probably won't be able to do it. I decided to record this without a time lapse because a time lapse for one minute sounds dumb and also I wanted to see me 
literally dying, that's why I called it the one minute, aka me having a mental breakdown rectangle. So I'm not going to be able to use as many colors, let's just grab one like for each thing, can be that, that and that. I should have sharpened them beforehand, but I was just so anxious that I just pressed record. So, I'm terrified. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer next. And I'm, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but okay. It started, oh, poop, poop. I just start screaming random words whenever I'm stressed, so I'm sorry guys if this is... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I know I'm laughing. Okay. Terrified. Terrified, I am so terrified, and I am singing the Spider-Man song for some reason. Na na na, na na na, na na. Is this just? <laughs> no. Oh, 30 seconds have already gone by. Are you kidding me? Spider-Man, wrong color. Na na. Why am I singing the Spider-Man song? And why are there only 20 seconds left? Three, three. Okay, I need to stop singing the Spider-Man. Okay, I, I put some tape down because I knew I would be having a ginormous breakdown. Okay, okay. Sky. Um, let's put some depth in the eyes and the nose and do some shading over here. Some shading. What even is this? What is my life? And the timer just went out. <laughs> Hi, guys. Can you see? Okay, let's analyze this. At the end of these videos, I like to analyze what I've gone through. So this, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I kind of held in my breath for a whole minute just now. This, to the like, it, this just looks like one of those transformation pictures that companies use to like warn about drug consumption or cigarette smoking or something. You know, you have the before and after of all of that. <laughs> well, I, I can't even speak right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it and my stories and thanks to Jazza for holding this competition. So let's go to the outro, I guess. Thanks for watching. And we are now done. Look at it. A perfect representation of how my mental health declined throughout this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. I was a bit, you know, nervous about it because it doesn't have that many bright colors and stuff but I hope that my silly stories and jokes made it a little brighter throughout the video and I thought I'd just bend it right there on my head I'm so scared and thank you so much for Milky, my best friend slash editor for, you know, editing the video I think that's what it is and I just really wanted to give a special thanks to Jazzo for hosting this competition because my first video on this channel was me opening and drawing with supplies in Jazza Jazzy art box. So I feel like I win, it's kind of coming full circle, you know? And I actually use some of those supplies in here, just in case you were wondering. I was about to throw it. You guys know I like to throw stuff. No throwing stuff now. So yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry if I was a bit more nervous than usual. It happens. And if you like the video, please leave a big like. It means a lot. And subscribe to my channel because... Videos twice a week, that's what I try to do. I love you guys. Bye!